older, do, do, do you actually know all of the um, animals and where they would go without a doubt? Do you have to think a little bit? Okay. Yeah, well, young, the younger kids probably wouldn't have guessed that a meerkat goes in the desert. They just really mm -hmm. know, you know? Um, what did you learn? Did you learn anything new? Or what were some of the things that you considered when you had your animal with like the options of the habitat? What they would need and what they require in their habitats. We had coyote and it was kind of difficult to figure out where a coyote would go because there's different types of coyote, mm -hmm. so we weren't really sure where to put that one we had to discuss all but but like you knew it wouldn't be in the ocean. Right. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, good though. That's some of the things you have to think about. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple in here when we were going through them that could have gone in other places that some of you didn't mention that. Like in the forest, I would have expected a badger or a coyote to be in the forest, but it's not right. That's not true. They go in the prairie or the grassland. Um, but most of them were pretty self-explanatory if you've gone to grade school. So, you guys have any questions? <laughs> Why is it important to know anything about habitats? In order to in order to be aware of where an animal of an animal, you need to know what it needs to live. And if you are out tromping in the woods and cutting down trees and stuff like that, you could be you could be taking some animals home, some insects home. And then you've got the cycle of life, whatever, and you could be defeating the cycle and stopping it right in its tracks. Any other questions? No questions. Good job, guys.